I'm Dr. Lewis Schwartz, the director of Stereotactic Radio Surgery at Overlook Medical Center, and I'm standing in front of our brand new CyberKnife machine. Its applications are to treat inoperable brain tumors, spinal tumors, lung tumors in patients with bad emphysema, liver tumors, and also prostate cancer. The CyberKnife is a radiation machine that delivers pinpoint radiation treatment. The way it works is the machine moves around the patient delivering tiny beams of radiation. You could think of each beam as being a dart, each dart only carrying a little bit of radiation as it passes through normal tissue, but all the darts are converging at bullseye where the target is. The CyberKnife can also breathe with the patient. So as we're treating a lung tumor, for example, as the lung tumor moves up and down, the CyberKnife will move up and down with the lung tumor. So it always is on target and avoids treating normal surrounding lung tissue. It would be nice if all patients were candidates for CyberKnife treatment. However, here at Overlook, we review the patient's case, and if they're not a candidate, we have other options for treatment that we can offer in our radiation oncology center. The CyberKnife team is not just myself. We work very closely with physicians specific to the part of the body where the patient's tumor is located. So we thus work with neurosurgeons, thoracic surgeons, urologists, and surgical oncologists. They help us formulate our plan for treatment and help us identify normal anatomy that's around the tumor site so we can avoid it from high dose radiation. We also have a team of technologists, nurses, secretarial staff, social workers, dietitians that are available to help the patients through all aspects of the treatment. Here at Overlook, we were one of the first centers in the world to offer CyberKnife technology. We started treating back in 2004. In fact, at that time, we were the first center in the Northeast of the United States to offer this treatment. Over the years, we've treated more than 1,600 patients in our center. We hope with our new machine, we'll be able to expand this technology for more patients than we currently can offer it to.